Already worn down, my spirits crumbled, not only because of a lack of cultural competency I had personally experienced that was harming women, my best friend and mother's untimely passing, but also the images from India, a culture of rape where I had spent my first decade. Near Bea, she was called a 23-year-old studying to be a doctor who was savagely gang-raped by teens with objects on a Delhi school bus. International outcry and calls for justice followed from around the globe. I wanted to do something beyond my work on national television to draw attention to gender equality, the importance of educating girls, and for women's empowerment. Without thinking much about it and working 24-7, I came out with a calendar of role models, remarkable women who are physicians, activists, engineers, scientists who posed for a purpose. Thousands of boxes of calendars were distributed to domestic violence shelters across the country as a fundraising tool and to girls' programs to inspire them to reach for their dreams like their role models and possibly to take a stand for justice. Calendars were also delivered to a care facility in Assam for girls rescued from sex trade and trafficking after surviving horrific atrocities they smiled behind the pages of their favorite role model read about their favorite quotes for girl power and learned about the remarkable women throughout history and their birthdays the photo melted our hearts the media campaign for raising awareness appeared to be working a rape survivor in hong kong penned a powerful poetry after watching a story on network news addressed to dear indian daughter not only to nirbaya but all of us indian origin daughters or everyone's daughter who has suffered at the hands of mankind a project for a couple of years turned into six with remarkable speakers and conferences In 2012, Witness Saris to Suits come to fruition. It's been a journey of building brand awareness and collaborating with mission-aligned organizations that aid underserviced women and children from all walks of life. It was a calling or social responsibility of sorts for a media professional. I knew I had to do something to make an impact and maybe help change circumstances. Purple Lotus Service Fund came to be in 2020 at a calendar signing event to honor a 97-year-old role model, one month before the pandemic hit. The fund would then grow in 2022, this year at a hugely successful fashion show fundraising event.
Now we write stories. I mentor students who write about inspirational women. These byline stories are carried across the globe. That wraps up our first decade. I'm Pratiba or Patti Tripathi. We need your support to do more. Thank you.